How do you clean a four-way ceiling cassette? How do you use new Calgon's Clean Guard CC cassette maintenance bag? I'm going to show you today the best way to clean a cassette, show you what tools I use, and talk to you about cleaning a four-way ceiling cassette. You're watching HVAC Tips for Technicians. I'm Tad. Let's get started. Tools and cleaner that I'm going to use to clean this four-way ceiling cassette. First, get a bucket. This bucket comes with the Complete Care Mini Split Kit the new Calgon offers. I'm going to use the coil gun because I don't want to pre-mix my chemical. I'm using the EVAP Fresh No Rinse. I don't have to dilute this. I'm going to put this straight into the coil gun. This is new Calgon's cleaner that I use for cleaning indoor air handlers, mini split ductless air handlers. I'm using the maintenance bag the new Calgon makes. This is the Clean Guard. CC professional ceiling cassette maintenance bag. I'm using the turbo tank. Why? Because I don't want to have to bring a water hose inside the house. I'm using this portable sprayer right here and it's got a commercial spray gun and then I've got an adapter that attaches between that spray gun right here and my coil gun. So I can go from spraying the chemical cleaner and then just quickly detach the coil gun and then spray it off, rinse it off with the commercial spray gun and the turbo tank 2.0 all this new calgon offers link in the description for everything if you want to buy it if you want to learn more about it link for new calgon's website and of course how do we reach the ceiling cassette if it's in the ceiling we may need a ladder so right now i've got a six foot ladder that is going to help me to be able to reach that four-way ceiling cassette now let's take it apart now we're going to start taking this four-way ceiling set apart so we can clean it. You may need a Phillips screwdriver. I'm using a Phillips bit with my drill. So the first thing we're going to do is we've got these two uh, tabs labeled pull. And what we're going to do is we're going to pull these tabs and that's going to release the filter for the cassette. And that filter is going to just hang there because we've got two little pieces of string and two clips that hold it in place. You're going to want to take this off. So that you can actually clean this as well as the coil. The coil is what we really want to clean here. That's the most important part. You also may need to clean the condensate pump. And the condensate pump is located inside the cassette above the condensate uh, drain pan. There is a drain pan in here which I'm going to show you. If you want to know how to take apart that little condensate pump and get to it and clean it, I've got a video for you to learn more down in the link in the description on how to take the cassette apart and get to the condensate pump. So you want to make sure there's no power. So turn off the power before you start taking it apart. What we're going to do is we're going to take the cover off for the control board. And we've got two Phillips screws for that control board cover. Once you take those screws off, then you can take the cover right off. The second thing you're going to do is there's two hooks that hold the fascia panel on. But before we can take those two hooks off, we've got four covers on each corner of the cassette. You can see this corner here. It just pops off. See these corner pieces? And your corner pieces may have a string and a clip, so you may not have to actually take them off fully. Once you get those corner pieces off, then you can actually get to the Phillips screws. We've got a Phillips screw in each corner. One, two, three, and then. Now that we've got the four bolts, or screws out of the four corners for the fascia panel now we can take our hooks loose there's where one of the screws was in the corner here's our receiver right here for this four-way cassette as you can see there's some wires that lead from that receiver and they go right here on the board and sometimes they're labeled display and this one's labeled labeled louver and display and we're going to take these loose right here see that now what we're going to do is we're going to take 
this hook and this hook off like this all right now we take these two hooks loose now there's no wires connected to the board we're going to take this right here and we're going to set it down and now we can take this outside if we need to to clean it outside you may need a rag, so get a, a, some type of cloth or a rag or a towel. That way you can wipe off those veins. Now that we've got the fascia cover off or the fascia panel off of the cassette, now we can see our drain plug and we can see our condensate pan. And you can see it's foam, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to get our bucket and then we're going to take our plug out. Right here is a gray plug. We're going to take this plug out and we're going to drain the water. Now there's no water in this pan right now, so that's why nothing came out. But you want to drain the water. Make sure you drain the water and make sure you have a bucket. Then we're going to put that plug back in. Let me put my bucket down and put my plug back in. And you may need to use a tool to put in the middle of that plug to actually press it in. Now the next step, after we drain the water out of the condensate pan, is we've got to take our wires loose. Make sure that you know where your wires go. And you can actually use your phone and take a picture of the wires. That way you can use it for a reference when you go to put the board and everything back in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of my plugs loose as well. Uh, the plug for the fan motor, the plug for the float switch, uh, the plug for the condensate pump, the plug for my evaporator or indoor heat exchanger sensors. Now that I've got all the plugs that I need removed from the board, now I'm going to take and remove my communication and power wire. There's my communication wires. And here is my power wires and my ground. All right, got those removed. Now the next step is there's two screws that hold this box to the actual cassette. And once you take those two screws loose, you can see that it's loose. Now we need to get to the fan blade for this indoor motor. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these Phillips screws out. There's two screws right there. After you get the screws loose, then you're just going to slide this cover over. Maybe you can pull down a little bit and then this cover for that fan blade comes off. Now you can see our wires get connected to our board and now we can get to the fan blade. Now you need an adjustable crescent wrench or the correct size socket and you're going to loosen the bolt connected to that fan motor so that we can remove the fan blade. Once the bolt is removed, then you can place your hands on the indoor blower wheel or fan blade or propeller and you can remove it. Now we can get to the coil. Now we're going to place our bucket directly beneath the four-way ceiling cassette and we're going to take our maintenance bag and remove it from the package and go ahead and install it. Here's the Clean Guard CC. This is a reusable maintenance bag for ceiling cassettes and New Calgon also has a maintenance bag for wall mount air handlers for sizes 
12,000 BTU all the way up to 36,000 BTU. If you want to know how to clean a wall mount air handler, a mini split that's on the wall indoor, then I've got a video for you to learn more down in the link in the description. Now there are instructions right here, directions for use. Now this is the maintenance bag out of the packaging. And it's quite large. Now we're gonna install it. You can attach the maintenance bag with or without the fascia cover. Without the fascia cover, you've got these four corners that stick out that you can attach that bag to. I'm gonna take the fascia cover and install it back on the four-way ceiling cassette so that I can use these four corners to attach my bag to. So I've got it installed. I didn't install the screws. I don't have to do that. I've got these hooks that will hold that fascia cover. And then I'm gonna attach my bag. Make sure you know where your drawstring is. You may need to go ahead and tighten it up. That way you make the bag small enough that it can fit around the four-way ceiling cassette. And I'm going to take it and, and install it like so. And then there it is. And now I'm going to take the drawstring and pull it tight. Now this is a mini four-way cassette, so I'm definitely going to have to pull this bag pretty tight to get it to fit. Make sure the bucket's on a stable surface. Make sure the funnel is inside the bucket. That way the water drains into the bucket. And this is what the bag should look like. And you can see how it's folded over the corners. And we're ready to clean. And we're not going to get any of that water on the floor. See? Make sure you install the battery inside the turbo tank. Make sure it's charged. Once you install the battery, close up the cover. Make sure the turbo tank's got plenty of water. You want a full tank. I've got a full tank of water. Now we're going to take our coil cleaner and we are going to put our coil cleaner inside of our coil gun. We do not have to dilute this. Once you get the coil gun filled with your coil cleaner, then we are going to take our commercial spray gun. Now we're going to use our adapter piece, our quick coupler, and connect it to our coil gun. And once it's connected, make sure our spray wand's connected really well. And then we will connect that little adapter to our commercial spray gun. Make sure that you turn the turbo tank on. You can use a wall plug to power the turbo tank or you can use a battery. Milwaukee and DeWalt batteries are accepted. Now, let's get to cleaning. Use our coil cleaner. Soak the entire coil. Now we'll let the coil cleaner set for about 10 minutes, 5 to 10 minutes, and we're going to go ahead and install our 15 degree nozzle, or I could probably use my 90 degree wand. We've also got a straight nozzle, but I'm going to use the 15 degree because I like that one. Now we're going to rinse it off. Now all the water is going inside of the bag, and that's really nice. Look at that dirty water. Now we can take the cassette 
filter outside and spray it off. See that dirty filter? Clean. When you're ready to remove the maintenance bag for the four-way sealing cassette, you've got a quick release button. You just take the button and you push it and then you're able to release the tension on that drawstring and open the bag up and take it off. Once you remove the maintenance bag, what I usually do is I usually shove it in the bucket like so. Take my bucket outside. That way I can dump out the dirty water. Now that I'm done cleaning the ceiling cassette, I'm gonna put it back together. If you wanna learn more about taking a ceiling cassette apart, getting to the condensate pump and cleaning out the pump, I've got a couple videos so you can learn how to take a ceiling cassette apart down in the link in the description. Hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you know what to use for cleaning a ceiling cassette and how to do it. I hope you learned something. If you did learn something, let me know what it was down in the comments. If you've got a question, questions can lead to new content, so leave your questions in the comments. If you don't have a question, that's okay. Let me know who you are and let me know where you're from. Don't forget to check out the video on how to clean a mini split wall mount air handler. I've got those videos down below so you can learn how to do that. If you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe, smash that bell, ding, so you know what I'm doing. You've been watching HVAC Tips for Technicians. I'm Tad, and I'll keep you cool if you let me.